Gosh, everyone's trying to get me to get Cecil in here. Um, <laughs> Cecil, do you want to come in? Or is it just the fans? Um, my, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let you know, Cecil's been drinking tonight. Oh uh, no, a lot. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was, yeah. Uh, now I'm scared. Oh no, <laughs> a wild Cecil has appeared. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Cecil. How are uh, you? No, I am. I'm quite fucked up. Uh, okay, well, there it is. Yeah, didn't take long. Can you watch the language? Oh, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> what the Did you get uh, drunk because you felt so bad about abusing Mitch? I didn't abuse Mitch on, on any level at all. No, Cecil was uh, kind and gentle. It was it was everybody else. <laughs> I've always had that opinion that uh, everybody else is a jerk. I'm fine. Mm -hmm. Excellent, excellent. It's got me this far. <laughs> so where are cool. you? Where, where? I am quite drunk, though, right now. I'm going to pass out soon, but I just wanted to stop in and say hello. Right. Well, we appreciate it. <laughs> See, so what have you been doing? Where are you at now? I'm I'm at home. Tonight was a fr a Friday in. This is like after Labor Day. Everybody's been inviting me on, but uh, during like the actual summer, I'm actually busy. But everything came to a grinding halt. Mm. So Friday night, I'm actually free. I had yeah, I had a couple things I could have done, and I I spent it online with everybody, and I had fun. It was a good night. Awesome. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. I read somewhere I think in chat you said you've been making the rounds on a lot of channels and. Like, yeah, because I I've kind of been I've kind of been like a MIA for the last month. I I pop in here and there, but I really I've been out hmm. in in like the real world drinking, <laughs> and now I'm home alone drinking with you guys. <laughs> well, we're glad you found your way back to your friends. I will because winter's coming, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and I like to. Uh, I like to drink whiskey and uh, hang out on a computer and be a jackass. It's it's one of my favorite things to do. Well, you're excellent at it. Oh yeah, no, I, I took classes. Yeah. <laughs> Junior college, right? Yeah, I majored in being a jackass online. So, Cecil, what do you what do you think about the passing of Burt Reynolds? I'm upset by it, you know. But I I mentioned earlier tonight. I said that. All my life, I wanted to look like Burt Reynolds. I ended up like Dom DeLuise. You know, that's my curse. That's my cross to bear. And uh, But uh, good for Burt. I love Deliverance. Deliverance is one of my... It is actually one of the most disturbing horror movies of all time. People don't consider it a horror movie, but it is. And uh, my favorite line is when the, uh, the hillbilly is raping Ned Beatty. <laughs> And he says to him, take off your clothes. And then and Ned takes off his clothes and he's in the tidy whities and he goes, and the and the hillbilly goes, them panties too. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, even now, years later, there's nothing worse than a hillbilly calling Ned Beatty's tidy whities panties. panties. Because once yeah. he said them panties too, you were like, oh fuck. No, this is no, so this no, is oh I'm so, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I forgot. I I, I, I that's not that's not a I can't even curse on we that. Know, you're, you're trying, Cecil. That's not that's not a lie. I, I honestly I'm sorry. But, so but, I watched uh, Deliverance. You know, I, I didn't watch Deliverance till later on in life, actually, and I, I was I, I don't know. I always thought it was going to be like this super, super dark movie. But, you know, maybe if I would have watched it as a kid, maybe it would have, I don't know, corrupted me more. But, yeah, I, I mean, I remember that scene. I was like, oh, that's it. But whatever. I, I guess I grew up in the age of Saw and uh, Hostel. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it was, there was a realism and a horror to Ned Betty. Yeah. I, it was, and also he was, uh, he was Lex Luthor, Luthor's assistant in the Richard Donner movies for, uh, mm -hmm. yes, um, 
Great actor, but uh, he really took it in the pooper. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> they rode him around in the mud. And uh, it always bothered me. It always well, they, they, they were following uh, Doug's advice, go in from behind. Right. I noticed that none of those hillbillies, after they had their way with uh, Ned Beatty, none of them washed their hands. <laughs> mm. uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not trying to draw any kind of conclusion or inference. Or uh, I'm just. An, it's a. It's a casual observation. Yeah. If in, if anyone goes and sees Doug at a uh, convention, just bring your own hand sanitizer. So yeah. Uh, yeah, and then use it right there in front of him after you shake his hand and just look at him before you walk away. <laughs> Make <laughs> eye contact. Or just, you know, shake his hand with one of those little, like, plastic robot claw things. With the... <laughs> no, bring, like, a little wet nap to shake his hand. Well, for, for me, like, Burt Reynolds will always be, um, will always be the bandit, yeah? Oh, Hell yeah, yeah. Yeah. I need that on DVD. That and uh, Cannonball Run. I haven't seen Cannonball Run since I was a kid. No, yeah, me either. I heard somebody describe, and it was kind of funny, but also mean, but also funny. They they, they watched Cannonball Run as a going away party for Burt Reynolds' career. Aww. Like everybody showed up and they had fun, but it was like the end. And there's a certain truth to it, although he was great in Boogie Nights. And well, he didn't was he nom- the little whorehouse in Texas after Cannibal Run? He did. He did. A ma- he, listen, he married Lonnie Anderson from WKRP in Cincinnati. And then he was um, hooked up with, uh, with um, what's her name? Uh, Dolly Parton in, uh, in Best Little Whorehouse in Texas. And uh, yeah, he had, he had a fun time. Listen. We oh, should all be we should all be so lucky to suffer to suffer as much as Burt Reynolds. Did he really get with Dolly Parton in real life? I mean, I I, I don't have confirmation, but I'd say probably. Yeah. <laughs> How's it going, Ben? Ben Jones is here, everybody. Yeah, I was just letting Cecil get his run in. I was chilling in the background. I was rushing home. <laughs> Uh, it reminds me of, the, uh, if I may, I'm gonna, I, I may, I'm gonna try not to curse, but there was a great comedian, and I saw him at Madison Square Garden. Him and Dave Chappelle. It was a guy called Bob Schimmel. Do you remember him? Anybody remember Bob Schimmel? He died tragically, but he had a whole his whole life was tragic. Believe it or not, he was the headliner, and and Dave uh, Chappelle was the opener at the Garden. I saw him years ago, and uh, Bob Schimmel had a tragic life. His son. I had leukemia at 12 and the make a, a, a wish he was dying and the make a wish foundation came to his house and they said, uh, what is your wish? And he said, I leaned over to my son and I said, tell them you want to see Dolly Parton, give your dad a blow job. It was one of the darkest <laughs> jokes I've ever heard, but the whole garden exploded into laughter Anyway, um, sorry, I forgot about the aloha. I, I tried to preface it. Oh, preface it. <laughs> uh, go GR5 for two dollars. I'm sorry, Mike and Mitch. Uh, uh, I'm sorry too. I apologize. I'm gonna. I'm gonna just <laughs> shut up for a minute. <laughs> Bagel goose for two dollars. Tell another joke, Cecil. Oh. A joke. I don't have any. <laughs> no. A joke. Hold on. Chicken Sith for $2. Ben's Asgard is kicking Aloha already. I have a joke. It's like this is a, uh, this is kind of okay for Aloha hour because it's like a kid's joke. Gather all your children around the radio. <laughs> um, why does the Little Mermaid wear uh, seashells? Why? Because she grew out of her bee shells. <laughs> that's, uh, that's for the kids. That's, that's for the good. Kids. <laughs> that's for the. <laughs> These are the jokes, people. These are the jokes. I'm trying to tone it down here. I'm normally. <laughs> I appreciate the effort. Cecil only runs at eleven, and we're asking him to be at a three. So that was awesome. Yeah. 
Thank yeah, you. Yeah, my my nose started bleeding during that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the blow. <laughs> oh. I but just I backed to... it right now while I was on the Well, thank you, Cecil. I appreciate well, it. Did, did you get the biggest one? No, I got the cheapest one. <laughs> 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 The twenty-five dollar one. What are you doing? <laughs> That's great. Uh, I'll promote it. I'm gonna step out, but I will be promo promoting this whenever I can. Thanks, uh, Cecil. All right, He'll guys. Try to remember that he said that in the morning. Yes. <laughs> if I forget, send me a tweet, and I'll remember. <laughs> oh, and then, well, thanks it? for uh, your maiden voyage on the Aloha Hour, Cecil. Absolutely. Fun. I'll make. Oh, it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I cursed so much. I know that was sorry. a. Uh, we I forgive did. you here. No, 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 no. I, 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 you made rules and I, didn't, I broke them. That's my bad. I, I apologize. Well, tell, tell you what, Cecil. It's east bound and down. No, I, 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 listen, I, we're going to do not, what they it say it can't I'm be a, done. I'm, we got it a long not, way to go and a short time to get there. You're singing the song from Smokey and the Band. Just watch your old bandit run. <laughs> I know that song, but I I, 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 tr I try to be a good person, but I, I did curse. I, I apologize for that. Appreciate it and accept it. Right. Love you guys. Good night. Right, good night, Cecil.